WordPress in education. The question is, what do you know? Education? A hobby? An interest? Everyone has knowledge, no matter what your parents may have told you, or anyone else for that matter. No one is here by accident. We all have a purpose, and the choice is up to you, how you share what you know, to use what you know to help others. We live in a world community, and we can improve the lives of others by sharing our knowledge. Everyone has a community of followers with lives that can be impacted. Not everyone will like you or what you have to share. But that doesn't to make what you have to share any less valuable. What do you know? Education? A hobby? Or an interest? Let's get started. First, identify your area of expertise. Research it online. Expect to find online courses in the area of your knowledge. Keep in mind you will have your own spin on this information and a community of following that will like what you have to share. Content is everything. People have problems they're trying to solve. They're searching online looking for answers. Your expertise will show them how and give them the answers they need. Don't worry about not knowing enough. Most people are too critical of themselves and know more than they think they do. You most likely show someone how to do something every day, whether it's how to program the microwave or to make a sandwich. People prefer purchasing online courses. It's easier than sifting through all the magnitude of free content out there on the internet. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack. Write the answers to the questions you're most often asked. If people are asking you questions, then they are viewing you as an expert because you have the answers. Guess what? You're on your way to creating your first online course. As I enter into this LMS comparison, I invite any WordPress gurus to make any comments below by adding anything I may have left out. Now let's take a look at software you may use. Hosted platforms mean you don't have to update or tinker. That means you can focus on your content and get going. Here is hosted platforms. Teachable, Kajabi, and Rainmaker. And Chris Lima thinks that Rainmaker is easier than Kajabi and Kajabi isn't even WordPress. Here's the benefits of Rainmaker. Build your audience with articles, audio, and video. Grow your email list, marketing automation, craft killer landing pages, start membership programs, sell online courses and digital products. Never waste time searching for plugins, worrying about themes, or understanding complicated code, and forget about hosting and maintenance and security updates because they take care of it all for you. Here are the pitfalls of Rainmaker. You grant Rainmaker Digital and its affiliate companies the following worldwide, royalty-free, and non-exclusive licenses to your images, graphics, videos, and audios intended by Rainmaker Digital to be available to the general public. You don't own your own database, and you cannot download your content to move to another platform. Your only recourse would be to build another platform using copy and paste as long as the Rainmaker site is still live. If they cut you off for violating their terms of services then you'll lose all of your work. This can be a bad pitfall for a well-known author who has copyrighted rights. Teachable 
Teachable Benefits is you have the full copyrights and they give a free trial version with full e-commerce, student management and email discussion forms and quizzy, quizzing. This is um, for one owner and author and you can see the rest of um, of the, of the um, packages that they have and the services that they offer with those packages. The pitfalls of Teachable is you still cannot export your content. Your only recourse is to copy and paste into another rebuild. Your content also can be accessed by Teachable and can be taken down at any time. If Teachable goes under, so does your content. Now let's review self-hosted plugins. Self-hosted means you have your own hosting service, such as Bluehost, HostGator or GoDaddy. That means you or a tech configure your LMS system. WP Courseware, Sensei, and LearnDash are all self-hosted plugins. WP Courseware, here are the benefits. It's a WordPress plugin you can self-host your site and all your content belongs to you. This plugin has lots of integration options for conjoining with third-party membership plugins. It traditionally ha also has strength and quiz capabilities. You, if you build a lot of WordPress websites and are looking to help someone create a simple course to show off a video and similar things, maybe even with a few quizzes and want easiest solution, then WP Courseware is for you. If you want to wrap your courses with a great membership plugin, go with WP Courseware. This plugin has gained the attention of many universities and a big name brands. It has lots of capabilities for course management and is able to fit into any theme content. Themes content. Chris Lima says no e-learning solution for WordPress compares to the ease and speed that WP Courseware offers people when getting setting up online online courses. Of course, with WP Courseware, you'll need S3 Media Maestro All by Fly plugins. It will protect your videos, audio documents, and other digital downloads, and it'll display your content across multiple platforms. Has a nice viewer for your videos. Fast loading with the Amazon CloudFront. Here are the pitfalls. There is no way to make your course content public. And um, you can bulk upload um, students, but you can't revoke or unenroll them bulk. You'll have to do them one-on-one, -on -one, one by one. <laughs> It's a little complicated when using the AWS Amazon for protecting the audios and videos. However, their tech support is great, and if you get stuck, they'll help you and walk you through it. Sensei. The benefits is it integrates with Woo Themes and Woo Commerce, and it has BuddyPress and Content Drip extension, which is easy to use and follow. The pitfalls is the courses is a submenu item under lessons, which makes the ordering confusion confusing. It ha not extensive as completing products, not protected content unless you use Vimeo for privacy settings. It's not all powerful LMS system. Um, if you don't want to use Woo themes, it may be hard for you to get it looking pretty. And there's no option to add or remove lunar learners from a course, and no way to bulk import learners, and no way to select cur current users on the WordPress install to be part of the course unless you're integrating the plugin with WooCommerce. LearnDash. The benefits of LearnDash is this plugin has more features than its competitors. It integrates with any theme. A quiz can be associated with a specific certificate. You can embed a video, YouTube, or Vimeo. Your learning management system is academic 
and integration with the Tin Can API is important, then Learn Dash is for you. The pitfalls. There's no way for a user to upload a file as part of a quiz question. What that means is if you need them to upload an essay as part of the quiz, there's no option for that. Creating some types of questions in advanced quiz area can be difficult if you're not used to using coding or logic. Too many features is overwhelming to set up a quiz. Post categories and tags automatically become course categories and tags and can make it difficult to differentiate between your blog content and your course content. The certificate function is a bit awkward to work with. The user interface and learning curve is the hardest part to deal with when using this plugin. To protect your video and your audio service, you'll have to or audio, you'll have to use another service. It's not part of this plugin. In conclusion, I recommend using Fly plugins because it is cost effective, easy to use, protects your assets such and has really great tech support. Now we all have a purpose and the choice is yours to share what you know to help others learn. Quote, no man is an island entire of itself. Joe Dunay. Chinese proverb, give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. So what do you know? How can you empower others with your knowledge using an LMS.